What up everybody? This is my tutorial video on how to mount ISOs to a virtual CD. Huh. Don't need blank DVDs, you need to burn that uh, ISO when you don't have any and you're, you, you can't you want to use it and you just have no resource done whatsoever to burn it to. Uh, virtual CDs are the way to go or CD drives are the way to go and this in particular video is going to be talking about uh, Magic Disk. Magic Disk is freeware and we're, I'm going to give you that link as well so you have that by the time I get done with this you're going to want it you're going to love it alright so first thing we're going to need to do is make sure we have an ISO and I'm going to manage to get us one right here I'm going to show you here that I've got let's see got my data drive and let's just for for the heck of it let's pull up my dead space uh, disc 1 and disc 2 dead space 2 ISOs now I don't have any blank DVDs and my friend gave it to me and I already knew what to do but darn would it have sucked if I could, didn't. <laughs> so what you need to do is have a virtual CD-ROM and it's very nifty I'll tell you that. So and this is actually the, let me see if I have, no it's not over now, okay. So and here's my virtual CD-ROM right now, it's got crisis on it at the moment. So you're going to see how it works. So what you're going to do is once you have that ISO, you're going to make sure you have a program called Magic Disk. You're going to come down and you may type in I explore. I'm typing in chrome.exe. Come up here to google.com. Google Magic Disk. First link you see Freeware Magic ISO Virtual CD DVD ROM Magic Disk. Download the one for Windows 7. 32 to 64 bit and here's the link here pause it look at it whatever so or search for it in Google <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go ahead it's saving down for me so I'll go ahead and I'm not gonna install it but this is um, it's pretty basic it's pretty old-school setup so I'm not gonna worry about it um, once you install it and it's said and done it's gonna look like an icon like this you're gonna click it. As soon as you click it, you get an icon like that on your tray bar. And you're gonna right click it, and you're gonna get all these settings, whatever. You know what, just, this is what I use it for. I'm gonna go through all the other stuff. I guess it's image too, but I'll use image burn. And I'll show you some for that too, if, if need be. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead here, and I'm just gonna unmount so you can see what it looks like, minus the uh, CD or the ISO and now it looks like DVD drive <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do with those ISOs that I showed you is I'm gonna come to, oh, let me bring you back down here virtual CD-ROM mount and now see there's there's my ISO there but we'll go back to my dead space and there's uh, disk one there now when I open it look at that sweet I can access it without it being on a DVD is that cool and I can even install it oh what now I'm cool next I've already got it installed it's a freaky game let me tell you that <laughs> jeez I finally just beat the first boss I've had the game for like two weeks um, okay so I'm gonna cancel out of that for another example, I'll show you another one. One second, we'll go ahead and do the. Um, I have another one on here too. We can just do uh, uh, Dragon Age. Okay, Dragon Age. All right there. So what I'm going to do here is I w I'm going to my virtual CD-ROM and I'm going to find Dragon Age, which is right here. All right, and what I'm going to do now is hit open, and I go down and look at that, and open. Or if I double click it, go in, I can auto run, and it starts installing. Install game, and I'm good. That is virtual CD-ROM at its glory. That is how quick and easy everything is. Um, really, it can't get any simpler than that. But if you have any questions, I've been using this for a long time, just hit me up with a comment. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer for you. Um, 
So that is it. That is a tutorial on uh, using a virtual CD-ROM uh, as your source of running ISOs, mounting your ISO up and accessing the CD files as if you put the CD in the physical drive. So I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.